Hello everyone, greetings or in Burmese, Minglaba. My name is Kenneth. Chanoname Kenneth Ba. I'm a writer, blogger, and language instructor, a Burmese American as well. In this lesson, I'll teach you common Burmese words to describe time and frequency. In English, there are words and phrases like always, sometimes, often, from time to time, every day, and so on. So let's first start with the word always. The word is amyeda. Let me repeat it again. Amyeda. You can also use a shorter form, amye. Amye. For example, you can say yango ma amyedam bude to mean it's always hot in yango. I'll break it down for you. Yangong is the name of the city, Yango. Ma is a place indicator particle. This particle clarifies that what you are about to say happens in that place. So you can think of ma like the English preposition in or at. Bude is the affirmative form of the word hot, the adjective hot, with a proper sentence and particle. De or de is the proper sentence and particle. The key here is the phrase amyedan. This is the phrase always in Burmese. So put them all together, you get yango ma amyedan bude. It means it's always hot in yango. If you like to use the shorter form, you can also say yango ma amye bude. It means exactly the same thing. It's always hot in yango. If you'd like to say exactly the same thing about the weather in Mandalay, I know in English the name of that city is spelled and often pronounced Mandalay, but in Burmese pronunciation it's Mandalay. At any rate, you can say Mandalay ma amyedam bude. Mandalay ma amyedam bude. That means it's always hot in Mandalay. Or you can use a shorter form, Mandalay ma amye bude. Mandalay ma amye bude. It means exactly the same thing. Now, unlike Yangon and Mandalay we just talked about, some cities in higher elevations like those in the Shan state, like Kala, for example, tends to be chilly all year round. The word for cold or chilly is A. Let me repeat it again. It's A. So, if you want to talk about Kala's general weather all year round, for example, you can say Kaloma Amyeda Ere. Kaloma Amyeda Ere. Or, with a shorter form, Kaloma Amyeda Ere. Kaloma Amyeda Ere. That means in Kala it's always cold or chilly. Now, how about the word for sometimes? In Burmese, the word for sometimes is Takatli. Let me repeat it. It's Takatli. So, if you want to say, sometimes it's cold in Mandalay, you can say, Mandalay ma takatle ere. Mandalay ma takatle ere. Very similar. If you want to say, sometimes it's warm in Kalo, you can say, Kalo ma takatle nuere. Kalo ma takatle nuere. Nue is the word for warm, a kind of a comfortable temperature for people who have to put up with cold weather all year round. It's important to raise your tone when you say it, by the way. It's nue, so you say it like you're trying to get somebody's attention. See those two little dots behind the word in the Burmese script? These are called wasa nalongbao, that's the name of the symbol. And when they are present, it means that you have to raise your voice and use a higher vowel tone. If you say nue with a long lingering vowel, that means something else. That means summer, as in the summer season. So, if you mean to say sometimes it's warm in Kala, you have to say Kaloma takatli nuere. It's not Kaloma takatli nuere. Moving on, the word for often or frequently in Burmese is kanakana. Let me repeat it again. It's kanakana. Even though it sounds like a tongue twister, that repetition, kanakana, is important, by the way, because there is a difference between kanakana, a repeated version, and kana, a single version. Kana kana means often, frequently, whereas kana means briefly, shortly. Let's say that you want to talk about a place where it rains often or frequently. Rain is mo yua, mo yua. To be specific, mo is the word for rain, the noun form, and jua is the verb, to fall or come down from the sky. So in Burmese, rain is actually two words, 
Mo Yua, literally, the rain comes down from the sky. So, if you want to say it rains frequently or it rains often in Yangon, then you can say Yangon ma kanakana mo yuare. Yangon ma kanakana mo yuare. You can, of course, use these time related words to describe things that are not related to weather pattern. You can, for example, talk about human behavior. If you want to talk about a girl named Sanda who likes to watch movie, so let's try that. Movie is Yokshin. Yokshin. To watch is Ji. Ji. So, in Burmese, to say watch a movie, you say Yokshin Ji. Yokshin Ji. If you want to say that Sanda frequently watches movies or she goes to the movies often, you can say Sanda kanakana yokshin ji de. Sanda kanakana yokshin ji de. Okay, let me give you two new words that I'd like you to figure out for the next sentence. Do you know what this is? This is called thanaka. Thanaka is an aromatic wood bark paste that Burmese women tend to wear to keep their skin cool under the hot sun and also to look beautiful. You can think of thanaka as a kind of a natural cosmetic from Burma. To apply something on one's skin, like applying makeup, for example, the verb is laying. Laying. It's not laying, by the way. Once again, the tone is important. You have to raise your voice and say laying. If you say laying, it means to lie, to cheat somebody. What you want is laying, the verb that means to apply something on your skin. Now you have the word thanaka for this wood bark paste, and you have the verb laying to mean apply something on one's skin. How would you talk about this same girl, the girl named Sanda that we just talked about earlier? How would you say that that girl Sanda likes to frequently wear the naka? Okay, some of you may have just figured it out. You say Sanda kanakana thanaka leine. Sanda kanakana thanaka leine. That means Sanda frequently or often wears the naka. You might be surprised to learn that some Burmese women actually like to wear tanaka every day or nearly every day. So if Sanda happens to be one of those young ladies, we'll have to change the time-related word to every day. How would you say every day in Burmese? That's ne dain. Ne dain. Let me break it down for you. Ne, the first word, means day. The particle dain that follows is every. To say Every day, you say, ne rain. With that in mind, do you think you can figure out how to say Sanda likes to wear Thanaka every day? That's right, you can say, Sanda ne rain Thanaka leine. Sanda ne rain Thanaka leine. Now, unlike Sanda, I don't wear Thanaka every day, but I happen to like to drink a glass of warm milk before bedtime almost every night. How would you say every night? You say nya dain. Nya dain. Nya is the word for night or evening and dain is the particle for every. So nya dain is every night. And I would have to say chano nya dain nuano thakte. Chano nya dain nuano thakte. Let me break it down for you. Chano is a polite way for men to say I in Burmese. If you're a woman, you have to say chama. That's your polite version of I. That's for women. Nuano is the word for milk. Specifically, it's cow milk because the word noa is actually the word for cow and no is the actual word that means milk. So put it together. Nuano is cow milk. Thao, the last word you need to know, is the verb to drink. Thao, to drink. Now, put them all together. Chano nyadai nuano thaute. That's my version. Or if you're a woman, chama nyarain nuano thaute. That's your version. That means every night I drink milk. That's a lot of new words for this lesson, and I think you might need some time to practice. So if you'll excuse me, it is now time for me to go get my cup of warm milk before bedtime. So, now my dwee me. See you later. <laughs>